Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we will see how to configure and verify a small network. Here we will use a, a router 2911, also two switches 2960, and the end devices. Now we will rename these devices. This is R1, this is S1, and this is S2. Here we can see PC0, PC1, PC2, and PC3. Now we will connect these devices using copper straight through. Coming to R1, we will connect to G0 slash 0 to S1, G0 slash 1. Then G0 slash 1 on R1 to S2 G0 slash 1. Then we will connect these PCs uh, to its uh, switches. We will connect to PC0 to S1 FA0 slash 1. PC1 FA0 slash 2. PC2 on S2 FA0 slash 1. PC3 FA0 slash 2. We will label the ports we used on this router R1. Here we connect it to G0 slash 0 and here we connect it to G0 slash 1. Here in this small uh, network we can see total two networks. We will highlight those networks. We will use this color for uh, the first network. Here we can see the first network. For the second network, we will use this color. Here we can see the second network. We will plan a network address for these uh, two networks. This is network 1, here we have network 2, network 1 we will use 172.16.1.0 slash 24, and for this network 2 we will use 172.16.2 dot zero slash twenty four. Here we can mention its network one. This is a network two address. First of all, we will configure network 1. So here we planned the network address as 172.16.1.0 slash 24. So we will assign uh, IP address from this network uh, to this PC0, PC1 as well as for this uh, interface uh, G0 slash 0 on this router R1. And here we can see that default gateway for this network will be the IP address of this interface G0 slash 0 on this router R1. Here we can see the IP address we planned uh, for uh, network 1 devices. Uh, for PC0, we will give 172.16.1.10 uh, For PC1, we will give 172.16.1.11 And for this interface G0 0 on this router R1, we will give 172.16.1.1/24. So here uh, the default gateway for these PCs, PC0 and PC1, uh, will be this address uh, 172.16.1.1. Now we will do the configurations on this network 1. Uh, first of all, we will assign the IP address for these devices, PC0 and PC1. Coming to PC0, desktop IP configuration. Here we will give the IP address. 172.16.1.10 and here we can see the subnet mask here it shows the default 
submit a mask of uh, class B so here actually we given slash 24 prefix as slash 24 so we have to edit the submit to mask here 255 255 255 zero then the default gateway 172.16.1.1 we have to configure uh, this uh, ip address uh, on this interface g0 slash 0 on this router r1 coming to pc1 desktop ip configuration 172.16.1.11 and here we have to edit the submit to mask it's 255.255.255.0 default gateway 172.16.1.1 now we will uh, set the IP address for the interface G0 slash 0 uh, on this router R1. Coming to R1 CLI. No. Enable configure terminal. Here we will set the host name as R1. And here we can see uh, the status of uh, all the interfaces on this uh, router R1 by giving this show command show IP interface brief. Here we can see the interfaces on this router R1, uh, G0 slash 0, G0 slash 1, G0 slash 2. Here we can see IP address uh, not assigned for these interfaces. Also we can see the status of each interfaces here. Uh, all interfaces are administratively down. Also we can see protocol down. Also we can verify using the show command show running config. And here we can see each interface uh, G0 slash 0, no IP address. We can see it's already shut down. Interface G0 slash 1, no IP address, it's down. G0 slash 2. Also, here we can see the interface uh, a virtual LAN. Now we will assign the IP address for this interface G0 slash 0. So we have to go to that interface, configure terminal, here we have to give an interface, interface is a G0 slash 0. Here we are going to set the IP address 172.16.1.1, then we have to give the submit to mask 255.255.255.0, .255 then here we have to give a no shot command. Here we can see the message interface G0 slash 0 changed state to up. Also, we can see line protocol on interface G0 slash 0 changed state to up. Now we will verify the configuration we have done now. Show IP interface brief, and here we can see G0 slash 0 IP address status up, protocol up. But here we cannot see the submit to mask, so better we will give a show running config. And coming to that interface G0 slash 0, here we can see IP address, also submit to mask. We can also verify using the show command, show interfaces, here we can specify that interface, it's a G0 slash 0, and here we can see the details. Here we can see G0 slash 0 is up, a line protocol also up, it's connected. Here we can see the internet address is 172.16.1.1 slash 24. Also we can see the other uh, informations. Now we will verify the connectivity uh, on this network 1. We will ping from PC0 to PC1. Also we will ping from this PC, PC sir, to its uh, a default gateway that is the IP address of this interface G0 slash 0 on this router R1. First of all, we will ping from PC0 to PC1. Uh, here uh, we can see uh, the communication is happening through uh, this uh, layer 2 uh, device that is the switch S1. Uh, we will go to PC0 command prompt and we will ping to uh, 172.16.1.11. And here we can see we are getting the replay. 
using the simulation mode we will see how this uh, local communication is happening between uh, these uh, end devices coming to simulation and here we will uh, select add a simple PDU then we will uh, send it to PC0 to PC1 here we can see it's uh, generated an ICMP message here so here we are going to click capture or forward we can see that message goes to uh, this uh, switch S1 capture or forward here we can see it goes to PC1 here we can see uh, the status still in progress again we will uh, give capture or forward it goes back the acknowledgement now this uh, packet will uh, send to PC0 and the status will become successful capture or forward here we can see now it's successful we will come back to uh, real, real time now we will ping from PC0 to uh, its a default gateway coming to command prompt here we will give a ping 172.16.1.1 and here we can see we are getting the replay now we will try from PC1 command prompt ping to 172.16.1.1 and here we can see we are getting the replay Now we will configure uh, our network 2. So here we can see a network address we planned here uh, 172.16.2.0/24. Here we can see the IP address details uh, for this network 2. Uh, for this PC2 we will assign the IP address 172.16.2.10/24. Uh, for PC3 we will assign 172.16.2.11/24. And here for this interface G0 slash 1 on this router R1, we will assign 172.16.2.1 slash 24. Here the IP address of this interface G0 slash 1 on this router R1 will be the default gateway um, uh, for uh, these networks. Uh, so here are the device uh, PC2, PC3, its default gateway will be 172.16.2.1. Now we will assign the IP address for this PC2. Coming to PC2 IP configuration. Here we will give the IP address 172.16.2.10. Here we can see the default submit mask. So here we have to change this uh, submit mask to 255.255.255.0. Here we can see the default gateway. It's 172.16.2.1. coming to PC3 IP configuration here we will give the IP address 172.16.2.11 here we have to change this uh, default submit mask coming to default gateway 172.16.2.1 now we will assign IP address for this interface G0 slash 1 uh, on this uh, router R1 coming to R1 enable configure terminal before that we will give that show command show IP interface brief and here we can see the interface G0 slash 1 IP address is unassigned it's administratively down protocol also down so now we will configure that we have to go to that interface G0 slash 1 and here we will set the IP address 172.16.2.1 and the submit mask 255.255.255.0 and we have to give a no shut command we will verify the configuration show IP interface brief and here we can see G0 slash 1 here we can see the IP address uh, we set to 172.16.2.1 now status and the protocol are up also we can verify using show running config here we can see the interface g0 slash 1 172.16.2.1 here we can see the submit to mask everything correct now we will verify the connectivity uh, in this network too 
first of all we will ping from PC2 to PC3 ping to uh, 172.16.2.11 uh, this is the IP address of this PC3 here we can see we are getting the replay now we will try to ping to the default gateway here we can see the default gateway of this PC by giving this command IP config here we can see default gateway so we will ping to this default gateway ping to 172.16.2.1 and here we can see we are getting the replay now we will try from PC3 to uh, default gateway ping to 172.16.2.1 here we can see we are getting the replay now we will try to ping from this network to this network we will ping from pc0 to pc2 coming to pc0 command prompt ping to pc2 so we have to give the ip address of pc2 uh, 172.16.2.10 here we can see we are getting the replay uh, we can ping to pc3 also it's 2.11 here we can see we are getting the replay even we can ping to uh, this uh, IP address of this interface g0 slash 1 so we will ping to this interface g0 slash 1 uh, from this PC 0 ping to 172.16.2.1 and here we can see we are getting the replay Now we will observe the communication from this network 1 to this network 2 uh, using this uh, simulation mode. Here we will use uh, add simple PDU. We will send from PC0 to PC2. And here we can see an ICMP message generated on this PC0. We will see the content of this uh, uh, packet on this PC0. Here we can see on outlayers. Layer 3 IP header source IP is 172.16.1.10. This is the IP address of this PC0. This is the source uh, source device. Here we can see destination IP 172.16.2.10. This is the IP address of a PC2. Here we can see that. Now we will press capture or forward. We can see it goes to S1. Now we will give capture or forward. It goes to R1. Capture or forward. It goes to S2. Capture or forward. It goes to PC2. So now it's reached to PC2. But still here we can see uh, the status is in progress. So uh, it should go, uh, go back to uh, this PC0. Capture or forward. You can see now it's in S2. Capture or forward, it goes to R1. Capture or forward, it goes to S1. And now it will come to PC0. So this PC0 received the acknowledgement from this PC2. And here we can see the communication is uh, uh, successful. Well, in this video, we configured and verified a small network. Uh, in this video, we used uh, these uh, show commands as well as some of the important commands. Uh, here we can see uh, the show running config, show IP interface brief, uh, show interfaces, then the interface name. Then we, we have seen how to use ping. Also, we have seen IP config slash all. Friends, if you have any doubt in this video, please comment below. Also, if you like my video, give a thumb and share with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you will get latest uploading video info directly into your Gmail. Thank you.